This is going to sound controversial, but I'm going to say it anyway. Most AI education is setting you up for legal trouble without even realizing it. Especially with recent updates to ChatGPT that many users still don't know happened months ago. The reason entrepreneurs and marketers risk getting fired by clients or sued for copyright infringement isn't that AI tools themselves are inherently problematic. It's because they're overlooking the ethical and legal implications of using AI in their business. And let's be real, a lot of AI tips and tricks are focused on pumping out content faster. You get what I mean, right? But here's the issue. Many of these strategies skip over a crucial element. Ensuring your AI generated content respects copyright and ethical standards. And it's not just me with this concern. In a recent study by Social Media Examiner, surveying over 1,200 marketers, 80% were concerned about the accuracy and reliability of AI-generated content, while 71% worried about copyright and ownership issues. Think about it. Imagine launching a campaign with AI-generated content only to find it flagged for copyright infringement. Or worse, Having a client sack you because you unknowingly used AI the wrong, not the right way. This is the exact reason why I wrote my book, The Wolf is at the Door and put together a free guide on copyright and AI usage that you can find in the free link below. But here's what many don't know. The concerns over copyright issues with AI actually escalated this year with the February update to ChatGPT in which they introduced a memory feature that can remember information across all chats. This sounds convenient, right? Especially for those managing multiple projects. But here's where you need to be cautious. Imagine you're a consultant juggling several client proposals. ChatGPT might inadvertently pull details from one client's projects into another conversation. This could not only plagiarize their work, but could potentially reveal trade secrets to other clients if you don't catch it, which can cost you much more than a client, it can damage your hard-earned reputation. This is a huge risk, am I right? Thankfully, you can address this issue head on. OpenAI provides options to control this feature. You can explicitly tell it what to remember, ask what it recalls, delete specific memories, or turn memory off entirely. Now, when it comes to copyright and copyright ownership, as it stands, AI-generated content cannot be protected, which means if you're creating digital products or launching marketing campaigns, you have no legal protection over it. Anyone can copy and paste it and use it themselves. Your best bet is to use tools like CopyLeaks, which are designed to detect AI-generated content. This is especially valuable as companies grow increasingly cautious about AI-driven plagiarism in freelancers' work. Copy leaks can even proactively monitor for real-time threats, alerting you to any misuse of your content within AI systems. These details are covered in my free copyright guide where I also break down additional protections for business owners, so click the link below to get access to them. But the bottom line is this, if your business doesn't have an AI policy or safeguards to review AI generated work before you deliver it to clients, you increase your chances of running into trouble. This is exactly why I'm creating these videos and free resources to cover topics that others simply aren't touching on. So you can stay ahead of these risks and position your business securely in an AI driven world because it's far more nuanced than what many people have led you to believe.